What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Little Gentleman. And for all y'all that want a piece of One Piece, welcome to Wano Piece. Haters get mad when I Luffy, boss up, who's me? Haters get mad when I Sanji, kicking it like Jet Li. Haters get mad when I Nami, that money come find me. Haters get mad when I Zoro, cut checks like Koro. Before we even start this video, I want to give a shout out to the Wano Piece Pirate Crew for liking this video before it even starts. If you want to join the Wano Piece Pirate Crew, Hit that subscribe button below. Do it! Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Wano underscore Peace for Wano Peace memes, Wano Peace channel updates, One Piece cosplay, and One Piece fan art. This week we are recapping chapters 371 through 380. Okay, so the rest of the straw hats that are on the Rocket Man, they caught up to the cars that Sanji detached. So when they see them, Luffy jumps onto the ship. He just, you know, stretches his arms up, jumps onto the boat ahead of time, looks around, calls out for Zoro on them. They're not there. I mean, he calls out for Sanji. They're not there. He goes back to the Rocket Man, and Zoro slices it in half just in time. He slices the two cars in half. Now, on their way, they see a Sea King that has been cut in half. This Sea King is five times the size of the two cars. So now what they realize is someone bigger and badder is out here so then what they see is t-bone this royal knight former royal knight t-bone he's out and he's running he's trying to get to the other front of the first the puffing time train now when he gets there his plan is to stop sanji soji king and frankie from what their mission is to save nico robin now, before he even gets there, he faces off against Zoro. Zoro defeats him with one move. They're both two strong swordsmen, but Zoro comes out on top. And another thing about Frankie is Frankie is only a cyborg in the front of his body. He couldn't reach the back of his body, so that part is still his weakness. So if he gets shot back there, it's gonna hurt. If anything happens back there, it's gonna hurt just like a regular human. But the front of his body is droid or a uh, uh, cyborg. Now while he was battling Nero, Nero found his weakness and was able to shoot him in his back. But Frankie kind of still gets the upper hand and hits him with like a sledgehammer punch. And he turns into a, a centaur and uses his four legs now, he has four legs, and grabs him, holds him down, and then hits him with a punch to the face that breaks him down through the train into the third car. Sanji, after he slices up all of Wanzi's noodles that he's using to attack, he kicks them straight through all the cars to the front of the second car. So now all the CP9 people are watching. While this is going on, Usopp already snuck to the front of the car and he's talking to Nico Robin, trying to get her to come along. Rob Lucci ends up finishing off Nero just kind of because he was too weak. He still didn't know all six forms of their special technique or their special training. So he just kind of threw him off the ship. Soji King uses a smoke attack to get Nico Robin to the other side of the train car and they detach that train car. But what they forgot is Blano can um, open up a door, like almost like a portal to anywhere. So he opens up the door and he's on that ship and then he has Nico Robin come back with him. Nico Robin goes back with him off her own will because of what she believes. Now before that happened, Frankie stops Blano from holding the two cars together by tackling him and kind of giving himself up so that they can save Nico Robin. But Blano just comes, gets Nico Robin, and that first car takes Nico Robin and Frankie prisoner anyway. So they take them to Ennius Lobby. And like I said before, the main thing that Nico Robin is worried about is the Buster Call. Now, what happened before in her past is the Buster Call was called before on probably people she loved to this village and no one survived except for her. Another name for the Inis Lobby is also the Nightless Island because it's always daylight there. Now, the government wants to get the Pluton because with the Pluton they can end the pirate age and they can run the world the way they want to, the way they see fit. Now, Yokozuna the frog, he knocked the rocket man off the tracks because he thought it was another train taking his friends to Eni's lobby. Now, after they do that, they end up getting back on the tracks and Yokozuna joins their forces and they head to Eni's lobby. Altogether, there are eight members of the CP9 and they're all here in Eni's lobby and preparing to take Nico Robin and Frankie through the gates. 
Luffy said he had a new attack that he wanted to try. So, he jumps over the main gates of Indy's lobby and starts just battling the Marines. Just starts fighting all of them on his own. And his new attack that he used was called the Ally Robo. And basically, he just straps himself to somebody and uses their limbs to hit their own people. It was pretty funny. Indy's lobby is arranged a, like on a waterfall. So, it's an island itself. But then it goes out behind, it's a fence around it, then there's a main gate, and that main gate leads to this big black hole around this small island. Then you have to get across that to get through to where you would go out into that main gate, the, uh, the gate. Oh, yes, the main gate is the gate of justice. So that's the gate you have to get through afterwards. The Galley Law and Frankie family break in through the front gate and they start clearing space so that the Rocket Man can come straight through and go all the way through so they can go get Nico Robin. Now they have these giants there that are the gatekeepers, the keepers of the main gate. And they wrecked the family has a group called the Monstrous Strength Death Trio. And they got wrecked pretty easily by the giants. So what they did after that was call in Sodom and Gomorrah, the giant bulls, and they attacked the giants. This gave them the upper hand. Um, one of the giants ends up hitting the other giant in the face, taking him out. And then Paulie used his rope technique. And then along with the Frankie family pulling and they pulled the giant down. And then they used the bulls to push through the main gate. Now, once they got through the main gate, they started fighting the soldiers in order to clear space for Rocket Man. Luffy took down 400 men, and then they were like, well, 100 more men are down, so he took down 100 men, 500 men, and he was just going around doing this by himself, all by his lonesome, just wrecking tons and tons of Marine people in Innie's lobby, which is like something you're not supposed to be able to do something people aren't even supposed to think to do okay one other thing spandom he said he had devil fruit gifts for the cp9 but he said he'll wait till later i wonder which devil fruits they are and what powers they'll give and who he plans on giving them to the innies lobby judge is known as the three-headed beskerville and basically with him he just has three heads and he's a judge the frog, Yokozuna, ends up pushing down the fence and breaks them through the fence and it leads the path for Rocket Man to come through. Rocket Man comes all the way through, all the way through to the main gate. It goes up actually over the fence because of the push from Yokozuna and the giant stands back up and he's ready to fight again, but the Rocket Man comes and hits him in his back and takes him back down. And that's where these chapters end. It's a lot of battles going on, a lot more to come, so definitely tune in to the next video. But until then, let me catch you up on the short comics. Tina plans on capturing the rest of the Baroque Works officers. So she's looking for Mr. Three, she's looking for Mr. Two, she's looking for Miss Valentine, Miss Golden Week, and Mr. Five. And they all happen to be, or four of them happen to be on this vacation island. Mr. Two is actually famous for breaking out of prison and what they do, what the other three do, is they disguise themselves so that way they won't be seen but Hina the Black Cage sees them, starts to battle them and then she captures Miss Valentine, Black Cage. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to let me know what were your favorite parts of these 10 chapters. The Grand Line is a rough place, you're gonna need a pirate crew. Join the Wano Peace Pirate Crew by hitting that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this one. Peace.